What is up you guys? My name is Matt and in this video we're going to be spending the next 48 hours in this incredible city, Budapest. And we're going to find out whether or not 48 hours is long enough to spend here. I'm currently on the rooftop of this incredible hotel that I'm staying at, the Mystery Hotel Budapest. Yesterday it was absolutely pouring down so I've chosen to shoot this intro video today because I knew that the sun was going to be out. So I'm going to take you back to our first day where we started our trip over the Hungarian Parliament. I mean I think this is a Spanish tour. Yes, yes, you have to go on this. So we are in the exhibition centre of the Hungarian Parliament building. To see this place you have to book a tour and it's a 45 minute guided tour with a lady who just takes you around and gives you all the history of this building. But it is pretty cool so definitely come check this place out. Possibly the comfiest sofa I've ever sat on. Well done, Hungarian Parliament. So we didn't miss anything juicy. Yeah, yes. We just missed that we're not allowed to take videos yeah. and photos. <laughs> which we did. <laughs> that is serious rainfall. Freezing. Okay, so this is the current weather situation out in Budapest. Obviously, I'm here with the most masculine umbrella of all time. This is the Danube Promenade, which is what we were meant to be doing next. But because of these weather conditions, we are going to the House of Terror, which is an indoor museum. Okay, our Uber driver's here. Our Bolt driver, even. Hello. Oh, what is this weather? Better house. Terror House, House of Terror. Thank you. Oh. So we've made it to the House of Terror, which is this museum here. And this is gonna give us a history lesson about Budapest in World War II. So yeah, ready to wait in line because everybody else had the exact same idea of coming here when it's raining. So yeah, back of the queue we go. It's quite an eerie experience walking around in here knowing that so many people were executed in this building. We have just finished at the Museum of Terror. That was a harrowing experience. Quite chilling going downstairs to see the actual gallows where people were hung and tortured, but I would strongly advise coming. Starving right now though, and it is 2.15, so we are going to go to the New York Cafe to get some food. So as you walk into New York Cafe, it will take you along Andrasi Up. Basically Budapest's answer to the Champs-Elysees, I guess. Inside. But there is a waiting list, so I'd probably advise booking a table if you don't want to be waiting. Hi, oh, how are you doing? You are right? Can we get two people? <laughs> Literally like a palace, isn't it? I mean, that, when we walked in, there was one person in front. Look around. There's now a massive line. Are you ready? I don't necessarily think this is the best table in the place. It's still very pretty. I had to ask to move seats. Thank you. I feel like I'm in the restaurant. Okay, I'm getting another goulash soup because I'm in Hungary and goulash soup is hungry. I'm also very hungry. Which is more filling? I would say the duck. Yeah, that's what we're going for. We're going for the duck. Mate, oh, the way that that is presented. totally different experience sitting here as to sitting all the way down there. So if you come here, just ask. That food was amazing, but I really need to cut out my red meat because I've eaten three days in a row. This here is a square that leads onto the park. There's an empty coffin underneath this square. Oh, that, that represents the unknown insurgents of the 1956 uprising. Archangel Gabriel stands. Lovely, it's freezing. Let's go to the bathroom. Now, behind me on these statues, there's 14 important Hungarian leaders. Also, over there behind me, behind this hero's square, is City Park. And within there are the Sesh. 
when ye baths definitely didn't say that right but the baths are there it's absolutely freezing cold so i'm not sure how i'm going to feel about getting in a public outdoor bath i actually feel cold when i look at ice so also at city park this is the largest ice rink in europe now this castle behind me is known as the Vaj Hanyard Vajda Vajda Hanyard Castle and it resembles the castles in Transylvania within Romania. Ready? Look at all these people freezing to death. I'm already just cold looking at it. There we go. Because Budapest was built on top of thermal springs, this is what you get, thermal baths. And it's absolutely freezing here. How cold are you? I'm How cold are you? It looks like chaos in that. Are you having fun? This is amazing. We're in the large thermal bath. Beautiful. Pretty beautiful. This is so weird. It's so cool. It's so loud. Down there. All the way down there. Oh, this is ridiculous. Is this heated? No. It's just okay. Two of how many boats? Two out of eighty bars. Eighteen. 18, 16 more to go. How much long would you want to stay here for? Because we came in the other section, we actually have to go back outside through the freezing hole. Ready? was the Hungarian baths. Wow. And we are heading to the Coney Bar for some authentic Hungarian food. Baltic, Baltic, Arctic <laughs> conditions. All these courses are chapters within this book. Lovely. <laughs> bon appetito. Cream and parsley, I guess. Cheers. Aubergine, goat's cheese, zucchini. This is heaven and back. Mm. Mm. 10 out of 10. Oh, great. Great. Those. Love a scholar. Again, I'm eating red meat. This whole meal, this whole experience has been 10 out of 10, in my opinion. Great restaurant. Hello. In the hotel room now absolutely exhausted and that looks like a very appealing bed so i'm gonna get in it and catch you guys in the morning good night good morning and it is our second day within budapest and i'm in a fantastic mood not just because the sun is shining but also i've just had an incredible breakfast within the mystery hotel not only is the hall where you have breakfast absolutely spectacular there was so much choice this morning i had an eggs Benedict, I think it was, and I also had some pancakes and two coffees, so I'm pretty much bouncing all over the place. We are going to start our second day over in the Buda side of Budapest. Buda Castle first, and over there is the Fisherman's Bastion. So, we are going to head over there now, so I'll see you there. Seven minutes to the top. That's not too bad. We are at the top of the Fisherman's Bastion and there are the seven tower things and they represent the seven chieftains which actually founded Hungary. And there is also a statue of Saint Stephen. Is it Saint Stephen? King Saint Stephen. The King Stephen. The King of Stephen. The King, the first King of Sweden. Saint Stephen. First Saint, Saint Stephen. It's very strong, very hard king, and very normal, and very true. Oh, 
that was fun. Very pretty in there. Next we're walking through Buda Castle over to the top of the funicular. Loads of views up here. This is what Buda Castle is great for. Views. Now, on your way over to the top of the funicular, it will take you through Royal Palace and you'll actually see a great view of Gresham Palace, the Shazenji Chain Bridge, and also St. Stephen's Basilica in a stack of three. Pretty cool view from here. Thank you. I just paid one euro to use the toilet. Something I'm so against doing. We are inside the funicular right now and it's going to be, I guess, a five minute journey to the bottom and this is going to give us some cool views. And then we're going across the Shizhenyi Chain Bridge. Wow, okay, so about 10 seconds later we're at the bottom. That was the shortest funicular ever. So this is the queue from the bottom. It's probably best you walk up to the top and take the funicular back down because there was no queue at the top. I'm absolutely going to eat this. So this is the chimney cake. I don't want the mob wine because that's alcohol and we did too much of that yesterday. But we are going to do the chimney cake, which are these things. And these are authentically Budapestian, Hungarian even. Yeah, let's do both. One half. One half. Okay. How much was it? It was... 1,500. Again, it sounds so expensive, but it's not. That was probably about three euros. And yeah, this is a staple in Hungary. If you didn't try one of these when you came to Budapest, did you even go to Budapest? So I've got the cinnamon side. No. Okay, regardless, it is delicious. Get one. They are baked. Yeah, I know. Like churros are fried, aren't Yeah, but these aren't churros. I am. This is like a baked pastry. Pastry. So, so good. I need to stop eating this because it's... I need to give it away. No. Do you guys want this? The rest of that? I'm not going to eat it. Do you guys want it? <laughs> Anybody want the pastry? Right. Oh, you want to try it? Hey, yeah, it's delicious. So I've eaten like half of it. There you go. Right now we're going to walk over the Shizhenji. Pronunciation again, I just can't do it. Sekenje. This was destroyed in World War II, so it has been rebuilt. But these lions guarding it are the original ones that were placed there again. They weren't destroyed. What is she doing? So I think she left her bottle of water all the way at the top, so she ran and got it. An empty bottle of water. What is she doing? What did you lose? Oh, your glove. Correction, I thought she left the plastic bottle. It was a glove. So we just walked from the Shizhenji chain bridge along the Danube River, and it takes us to the shoes on the Danube. The reason that the shoes are here is because the Jews were asked to remove their shoes first before being shot and their bodies um, fell in the river. So it's quite a chilling reminder of the atrocities of obviously World War II. Gresham Palace is also the Four Seasons Hotel. It's apparently super beautiful inside, so <laughs> we're gonna look inside. And they're doing a photo shoot. Right, off to Gabord's Cafe, is that correct? Good boards. Cafe Gibbard. You want to look at the lampposts of all things in this city. Yes, the lampposts are ornate. But I want a cup of tea. And that is Cafe Gabord, which is where we're going to next. Can we go back inside? Can we go inside? Yeah, I'm just waiting for you. Here we've got the statue of man sat down. Mikhaili Vorosmarte. Okay, that didn't sound correct. Let's go with man sat down. Come on, let's move. I feel like a flight attendant. <laughs> Hungarian fish soup. A grilled ham and cheese sandwich. Yeah, I can't come back, you see. Why did you want to see the seasons? Because they were in the uh, Louis XIV style. We went to see the style, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, it's the same style? Well, that's Louis XIV. Yeah. You should make your own tea with the tea bag and the hot water. Just look at this thing. To squeeze lemon. Yeah. Never use like that. Lemon with it? I don't know. Well, I'm like gonna it, find okay. out. Good. I taste the mustard, the Dijon mustard. Is it delicious? <laughs> that was Cafe Gerbol. It was all right. It wasn't as good as Cafe New York. Nothing was as good as Cafe New York. Cafe New York is amazing. 
definitely go there. Now we're off to the St. Stephen's Basilica, which is five, 10 minutes walk from here. So this behind me is St. Stephen's Basilica. It is the largest Roman Catholic church in the whole of Hungary. And it's only a hundred years old, even though it looks a hell of a lot older. So we're gonna go check it out. We're at the top of St. Stephen's Basilica. Incredible views all over Budapest here. One of the best views in Budapest, other than yes. what you get from Fisherman's Bastion. Absolutely freezing again. So within the basilica, you can actually find the right hand of St. Stephen. King St. Stephen, or is it St. Stephen? King St. Stephen's right hand, and that's mummified for a thousand years. And apparently on St. Stephen's Day, they actually take it out and parade it around Budapest. So you can join his hand on the parade. Put it in. So we couldn't actually see anything inside the casket. Yeah, until you put 200 Florence. Florence in. And then it suddenly lit up. Lit up? It was like, these are on the honey pots, everybody. Everyone came along. <laughs> that was St. Stephen's Basilica. And look at this guy over here. Maybe he's been eating too much at the Great Market Hall, which is where we are off to next. Some food over there. Langosh. And there's Langosh. We should probably get some langosh because this is authentic. Let's go get some langosh. Yeah, but we need to go langosh. I'm not hungry. Yeah, but neither am I. All right, well, I really hope it does. I'll be very upset. So off we go. And that is the great market hall. 10 minutes on the bus, food in there, and lots of other good stuff. What else is in there? We don't know, we're gonna find out though, so let's find out, let's go. Fair? I love truffle. Mmm. Okay. Oh good. Let me take this one. Right. Where's the skin? Yeah. How do you say the skin? Whatever. Lamb salami, wild salami, deer salami, salami, donkey salami, bambi salami. Bambi? Really spicy. It's like hot on the lips. Oh, it's no, it's, it's not. It's really it's nice. It's, oh yeah, I'll be yeah. able to do it. And, and now we're Indian. We're quarter. I'm quarter. She's half. She's fine. Like salami cold, cheers. Yeah. Bring something. It will be harder. Some... Your face is going red. It's a <laughs> You're like, oh, it's really hot. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. See you later. Langos. That is what I'm getting. So we found the Hungarian langos, probably about 10 pounds or so. Here we go, taste test. There's a lot going on, a hell of a lot going on. Good, I like the base. I think the langos is about the base, the fried, doughy sort of situation at the bottom. Sour cream, chicken, cheese. It's gone on her clothes. Right. This is the messy meal. Very tasty, very yummy, lots of flavours. Very fresh. And we watched him make it. What? And I am back in the hotel room right now. This room is amazing, I absolutely love it. Cue quick montage. But let me show you the bathroom. The bathroom, if you come down here, you'll see that you've got an absolutely massive bathroom in here. Huge, huge shower, great big beauty area, massive mirror. Right now, I'm gonna go join my mom within the spa. So, I'm gonna stick my dressing gown on. So I'll catch you guys down there. And this is the spa, it is so pretty. And also, who needs to go to the Hungarian baths when you've got your own jacuzzi within the hotel? Let's go check out the sauna. It is boiling in here. It's probably gonna destroy my camera. Let's go check out the steam room. And this is the steam room. I've had to switch to my GoPro because I can't use my camera in these humid conditions. But if you're not feeling well and you need to clear your sinuses, this will do the trick. Let's check out the jacuzzi. And here it is, the best part. And there's nobody in here right now, so I'm gonna go jump in. So access to the spa for three hours will cost about 13 euros, but a day pass will cost you about 20 euros. Probably better you check in for the full day. There's also a fitness center here if you wanna go to the gym. And yeah, I'm just gonna hang out in here for a bit. And if you wanna book yourself in for a massage, you can do that here as well. I'm gonna go back to the room now though. 
And we are dressed and ready to go to the restaurant. Let's do it. Vak Varu restaurant, Jewish Hungarian. One thing I'm loving already about this restaurant, that it has photos. I want to be as happy as this kid when I eat sourdough bread, dip that in. That's the best goulash soup I've had. I decided not to order alcohol because... We're going to go to a ruin bar. So I'm waiting to go to the ruin bar to get ruined. <laughs> when you need to take a photo and you need somewhere to put the tray. Tuna, risotto, and then we've got the pork mess. Here we go. Knockout stuff. Mmm. Good stuff. Yeah, really nice. My tuna's alright. That was a great restaurant. But now we are going to the ruin bar. Nine minute walk. A nine minute walk in the freezing cold. Let's do it. So these ruin bars used to be derelict buildings or shelters within the war that have been transformed into various different pubs. I love the atmosphere. I like the way there's lots of different rooms you can go into. It's a very strong smell of things I don't like. What smell? Well... What did you think of the ruin bars? Fun? Fantastic. Fantastic. Great experience. Defo come down, very authentically Hungarian. Something to do in Budapest. And this is our cab. Back in the room now, it is definitely bedtime. I'm exhausted and I cannot wait to get in bed. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. What is up you guys? So this has been 48 hours here in Budapest. Has this been long enough? No. Probably not. <laughs> I think there have been three days we'd have been able to go to Gellert Baths, spend more time in city. Park, go up to the citadella and also the caves the caves in budapest some travel tips that i would like to include as well is bring florent cash with you a lot of places don't accept euros second thing is it is absolutely freezing if you're coming in the winter months even if it says five to eight degrees the wind is mental here so come prepared try all the public transport as well don't be yep. afraid to do that public transport is great i don't necessarily feel like a travel card is entirely necessary you can walk everywhere but try the lime scooters i absolutely love those things they're so amazing that has been 48 hours in budapest i do hope you have enjoyed this video please leave a comment tell me your thoughts make sure you like this video and also subscribe and press the bell button to get notified every single time i post another video also if you click the link in the top one of these corners you'll be able to see the let's go to budapest video that i posted last week thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in vietnam